Hello and welcome back to my channel, Sally underscore fit foodie here. if I should introduce myself as Amber or semi underscore fit foodie but anyway as you can probably tell by the title of this video today well not today tomorrow I'm going to be eating 24 hours of my followers favorite recipes I asked on Instagram for your favorite recipes and he sent some amazing ones across so for my first recipe I'm going to be doing it's actually an overnight oat so this is why I'm filming it the day before and I'll start tomorrow. It's supposed to be like a oat raisin cookie overnight oats and it sounds amazing and you guys know I love sultanas so this is right up my street so when I got sent this I was like definitely gonna be making that in the video. <laughs> so yeah I've just got all my ingredients here now and I'm just gonna make it all up and then have it tomorrow I guess. But yeah I'll show you making it and then if you kind of like the look of it you can recreate it as well. And I'm really looking forward to doing this as well because Hopefully I find out like a lot more new inspiration and maybe find some new favourites that I'll kind of do in future again. We'll see. So sorry if you can hear any washing machine noises, it was like going crazy a minute ago. But yeah, I've just finished mixing it all and this is what it looks like. So it pretty much just looks like a bowl of porridge right now. And I did want to put it in a like cute container, like, uh, like that, but I don't think that's going to work. So I think I'm just going to keep it in a bowl and I just need to accept that I'm not like aesthetic. Anyway, so I'm just going to pop this in the fridge so it'll be ready in the morning and then I'm just going to eat the rest of the banana that's left over from making it. Hello. Hello and good morning and I'm sorry for the kind of hair craziness situation. I've literally just finished my tone and sculpt workout and just got out of the shower and I just popped this new my protein hoodie and joggers on and these are so comfy. It's like a really thin sort of jersey buttery soft material and I am obsessed with this. I'm just gonna be wearing this all winter now I know it. So yeah like I said I've just finished my workout. I was supposed to do upper body today on the tone and sculpt app I decided to do lower body instead uh, just because I felt like it and also because I'm giving blood tomorrow um, I didn't want on my arms to feel like jelly when I'm doing that I don't know if that makes sense but that was my logic anyway it's time for breakfast now and my overnight oats have been in the fridge overnight I'm really looking forward to having these because if it's anything like a oat and raisin cookie I'm gonna be all over that also, the person who sent me this recipe is like talking my language because she said put some extra raisins on top, so. Beautiful. Oh, I should have wiped the bowl like in MasterChef. Like I said, presentation is not my strong suit, so ignore the look. It's all about taste. Here is what it looks like. <laughs> so, time for the moment of truth. I'm not even gonna lie, that does actually taste amazing. And I think if it was, maybe if I used less almond milk, it would definitely be like more of a thicker, like cookie-like consistency. That is so nice. I am so unoriginal with my breakfast. I literally have algae fruit and fiber every morning. So this is definitely inspiring me to get a lot more creative in future with my breakfast. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat this and finish getting ready for my day at working from home. So I've actually just finished my breakfast and that was amazing. I just messaged the person who recommended it like, this is insane, thank you so much, like I love it. I was thinking though when I was making it, 
instead of vanilla protein powder it would taste amazing with the cinnamon danish protein powder from my protein like that just make it like next level but yeah definitely gonna be having that again and i need to go and make myself look a bit more presentable now hello me again i am just making my lunch now so what i'm making is like a sea butter sandwich with like chicken and pesto and tomatoes so right now i'm just frying some chicken and i have my sea butters all sliced up and then what i'm gonna do with them is once this chicken has fried i'm gonna top them with some pesto cherry tomatoes This is what my sea batters, oh no, <laughs> the sea batters are looking like at the moment. So I've just put some pesto and tomatoes on top of them now and I'm just going to pop the chicken, feta and basil on top and then pop them in the oven for 10 minutes on 200 degrees. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now before it is going in the oven. And I won't lie, I am so looking forward to it. It looks amazing. It looks so good. Here is what it looks like. Here is the finished product and honestly this looks amazing. I cannot wait to try this. So moment of truth, I'm going to do a taste test now on these little bits. The pesto with the chicken and the feta and like the kind of tartness from the cherry tomatoes it all just goes so well it's just perfect and the fluffiness of the sea batter i am definitely gonna be making this again this is amazing wow anyway cheers oh weird bit of hair Okay, so for my tea tonight, I'm going to be making these like sweet potato, taco-y, burrito-y sort of style things. Oh, it's a rainbow. Let me show you this rainbow. It's really pretty. Look at that. Ah. Right, okay. Back to it. So yeah, I'm making like the sweet potato taco thing. So I'll show you kind of how that's doing. So right now I am just chopping up, trying to chop up. Sweet potatoes are harder than it should have been. <laughs> so yeah, it says to like chop them up into like little wedgy sort of style things and then cover them in like some paprika, chili powder and cayenne pepper. So I'm just going to do this now and then shove them in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes at 210 degrees Celsius. Oh, that was really loud, sorry. I actually love sweet potato so so ready for this oh the rainbow's getting brighter all right so i'm just gonna like pop my seasonings on here now oh. <laughs> do you know like in recipes i always find that the like measurement like the rising down thing for teaspoons and tablespoons is way too similar but i don't feel anyone addresses that the amount of times where i've been cooking and i have done a tablespoon when it should have been a teaspoon and the whole meal is a write-off is too often to count to be honest okay these are my sweet potatoes now so i'm just going to put these in the oven it's 210 degrees and it's for 25 to 30 minutes also, I'll pop all like the recipes and methods down in the description. So if there's anything that you want to try out, you can like head down there and like screenshot it or save it or whatever and try it for yourself. And then you can let me know on Instagram, DM me and let me know if you tried it and what you thought of it because I'd love to know. And yeah, I just love seeing all the stuff you guys make. You all make the best food and you're all really good at presenting your food as well. And like me, while that's doing that, I've got my other bits to be doing. I'm so bad at like talking and following a recipe and it's a lot. <laughs> so I've got half a lime there which will go into the 
salsa in a bit. I'm just gonna slice some onion now and chop some tomatoes and slice my pepper. I feel like tea time is probably my favourite meal of the day just because I feel like it's super chill, like you're not in a rush, you can kind of sit down and I feel like it's tea time as well is where like I make most of my like more adventurous meals like lunch and breakfast. I kind of like have a lot of the same stuff whereas tea time I can kind of branch out and try like try some new exciting stuff. I'm talking rubbish, I talk a lot of rubbish. I just like tea time as well because I can like really take my time with the cooking and I like find it very chill and relaxing. I also eat like 90% of the ingredients while I'm cooking, like before I've actually made the meal, so. So yeah, I just finished chopping my veg, it looks very colourful. And yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna now cook the peppers and the onion in a frying pan over like a medium heat till they're softened. Right, so my veggies are all like soft now, so I'm just gonna make a quick salsa. So I have some chopped tomatoes and also a bit of the onion left from before, so I'm just gonna pop them into a bowl. Then I'm gonna add in some of, uh, well, two of the lime wedges. And then some chopped coriander. And this is possibly the saddest coriander plant ever, like, looks on everything as we've established through my presentation skills. Then a little bit of salt and pepper. Cute little salsa thing. I'm also gonna mash up some avocado to go on top and I won't lie, my avocado is not the cutest avocado in the world. But like I say, looks don't matter. That's the whole theme of this video. This is possibly the most unesthetic food YouTube video on YouTube. Just saying. So I've just got my sweet potatoes out of the oven and I've just warmed up my tortillas in the microwave. So I'm just gonna like put it all together and try it and hope it tastes good because honestly it smells amazing and I'm really looking forward to this. so excited. So here are my like taco things. To be fair, they look so good. Bon appetit. That mouthful is just all bread. Not gonna lie, I've not got to the stuff yet. <laughs> that tastes so good. It's like the perfect amount of spicy. Oh my god, I love that so much. So good. So yeah, I'm gonna go have this and watch some telly and then I'll see you later when I have my evening snack. Hello, and I'm sorry the lighting is so awful, but anyway, it's now time for my evening snack and I can't like finish the day without something sweet because I have such a sweet tooth. So what I decided to do is make like a single serve brownie sort of thing and it's like three ingredients. So you just need an egg, some flour and chocolate spread. I just got these like two chocolate spread things that I got when I was in Greece. Um, I don't know why I've got them to be honest. I think I thought I was gonna have like chocolate spread on toast in the room and I just didn't have them and left them in my bag. Fun story. If you haven't checked out my Greek vlog though, go check that out because it's a very good video. There's lots of good food in that. Anyway, I'm gonna use these now to make my brownie. The oven is on 170 and this will go in for like 10 to 15 minutes and I'm hoping that it one fits in this pot and two this pot doesn't smash in the oven. Wish me luck! <laughs> okay so I haven't added in the chocolate spread yet but this is looking slightly risque right now. 
I don't think this is gonna fit in. I don't know what else I can make it in. <laughs> this is not looking good at all. I really, really want this to work. <gasps> yeah, please mix nice and don't go everywhere. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put it in this little jar and mix it in that and then put it in there because I think that is a safer idea. Okay, that is looking a lot better, I think. Like it's all mixed in. I really, really hope this works because I like chocolate brownies and I want chocolate brownies to be honest. That's the thing with bacon as well is I think it's great in the moment and then I make a load of like cake and then I feel like they all go to, like not all go to waste but then a few go to waste again because like people get sick of them when you like make loads and loads of like cupcakes or brownies or something. Whereas a nice little single serve one, no waste. And I hate wasting food so I like that. So that's all mixed together now so I'm going to pop it in this little ramekin. You know what, that's actually a perfect fit now. Right, okay, so I've just checked on it and it is looking so good. I am so impressed. Like, look at this. It's rising so beautifully, I'm so happy. Okay, ready? Oh my word, wow. It's like a souffle. Wow, like, look at this. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. I'm also relieved that the pot didn't smash. That is my biggest relief at the moment. Wow. Oh, it feels like very brownie. Obviously, brownie, it's meant to be brownie. But... Anyway, I'm gonna let this cool for a minute because I'm not about to burn my mouth. If this works, life-changing. Okay, I'm impatient, I can't wait. I just wanna try it because it smells amazing. It's really hot to hold. Okay, are we ready for this? I... But I know people don't like the word, I'm sorry, but that is so moist. Wow, it is so chocolatey. Oh my god, that tastes amazing. That's really hot, but I love it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go finish this, but I'm gonna round the video up here. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching me try some new recipes, experiment a bit, and if I tried your recipe, I hope I did it justice. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below and comment something cool if you want to. But yeah, I will see you in the next video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at semi underscore fit foodie because I'm always posting bits on there anyway. So if you want to see more of me, head over there. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.